Hello and welcome to another episode of the Average EV Educational Series. Today we're going to be talking about level one and level two charging, um, particularly charging at home. So some of you may have just picked up your EV, you drive home, you park it, and you're like, how do I charge this thing? Um, some cars come with charging equipment, some don't. If your car does not come with one, you might want to buy one ahead of time, or maybe see if your dealership offers some. Here's an example of a level one charger that I got from Hyundai. Um, here it is, plugs into the wall. Now this is uh, actually not a charger, it's essentially a power supply. The charger is built into your vehicle, it's called your onboard charger, and every um, EV has a different onboard charger. Some have a 7.2 kilowatt, some have more, some have less. Regardless, uh, depending upon what you have to plug in to your car is going to um, depend on how fast your car will actually charge. Now this is a level one. This only gave my vehicle uh, 1.3 kilowatts, which means it would take forever to charge. So I immediately uh, went out and I bought myself a level two so that I could charge faster. I cannot recommend enough getting a level two charger so that you can charge your vehicle at a reasonable rate. Now, and I've talked to some people in comments and stuff like that. Can you survive with a level one? Sure. Should you? I don't think so. This is my J1772 charging plug. This is what all CCS based vehicles will use to charge at home. This is both level one and level two. So it just depends on what charger you get. If you'll notice, it kind of looks like the top part of a CCS plug. Now, uh, with the level two charge, you can charge three, four, five, seven, nine times as fast as a level one charger. So you should definitely get that. Now you can either get a portable one that you can plug into maybe a dryer outlet or have some kind of um, NEMA 1450 outlet installed, or you can have an electrician put an actual unit that goes on your wall, and then you can use that to charge your vehicle. Whatever you do, just make sure I would run it by an electrician so that you don't have any kind of issues with that at your house. Um, be sure when you're selecting a unit for your um, house or a mobile unit that it is pr as close to what your vehicle is capable accept of accepting so that you can get the max charging speed and make home charging as convenient as possible. All right, everybody, so that is basically it about level one and level two charging. I think it's the way they go. You don't have to drive anywhere to charge. You can do it at home. I know people who live in apartment complexes or city dwellers aren't really gonna be able to do this, but for those of you who can, I think um, it's just absolutely the way to go. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all next time.